Hi there, I'm Monty. Thank you for joining me today. Today was a day I was planning on getting outside for a walk and getting some exercise. I'm all set to go and I get ready, I get outside and sure enough, we start with some freezing rain. Now that's where it rains and it's down around zero or minus one and it turns to ice pellets. So obviously, I'm not going for a walk today. So what we're gonna do is spin the intro. I'm gonna get changed, we'll come back, and I wanna to talk to you about this Rikon drill press. So we'll do that right away. All right. Hi, I'm Monty. Thank you for coming back. This is my Rikon drill press. It's a bench top. It's not what I wanted. I originally wanted a floor model because of the particular one drill bit that I have to use in here to come down here to put the inserts in the end of a neck on a guitar and I don't have enough room here. That's why I wanted the floor model, but I don't have the room for the floor model in here. The this is a, a particular piece that I use a lot. You can see there's a lot of holes in it, and this is 90 degrees, and I just use that to line stuff up and to drill through there. Now, this has got a three-quarter horsepower motor, and that's plenty strong. This arm is the arm that you, we use in order to adjust the speed of the item that you're drilling. Now, you know the bigger the bit, the slower the speed. And if you're going into hardwood, then you want slower speed. But if you're doing the softwood and you've got a smaller bit, you're gonna want higher speed. So you can adjust that right in here. Now, let me just show you one of the advantages of this is this is the plate, so easy to remove. And I made this out of some plywood and I bolted it or screwed it in here from the bottom because I want to use this as a clamping source on the press when I've got something on here that I want to deal with. Now this particular piece will turn. But I've got a way around this in order to do even a better deal. So I'll just loosen that off there look at this you're gonna love this they sell this as it turns 45 degrees and that's it I got news for them this is what I did we'll put this back on and I bend it right down So what I can do now is I can take this and put this on any angle I want and I can put a board up along here to drill. But as you can see, this doesn't work very well with this configuration that I have here. So here's what I do. I take this Allen wrench and there's a little set screw up in here and I loosen that off. Now I can actually turn this this way. So now what I have is almost a floor model. If I move this over here to the edge of my workbench, I now have a facility where I can drill something with a longer bit and I can go all the way down and I can take this and I loosen this off and I can move this around here and I can put any kind of a piece of wood that I want fastened onto here, clamped into the back here and do my drilling down there and it will extend all the way down here. Now, but this works extremely well. So that's a little bit of a a hack to turn this bench top into 
an actual floor model that sits on your bench and rolls out of the way. Okay, so there we are. We're level, and we're level this way. We're level this way. And we're pretty good this way. It's a little out because the floor area here is a little different, and I'll change that around. Now, so far, so good. But I want to show you some of the neat features. First of all, here's where you turn it on. And it's spinning. at 660 revs. So if you want to turn that down, it's not hard. You simply come here and you move this this arm And I'm now down to 249 revs, so that's, that's great. Now, two other features. There's a light so you can illuminate the wood underneath here so you can see exactly where you want to drill. The other thing that's really handy here is there's a laser. So they've got a, an X marked here like this with two red lines so that you can put your brad point drill bit directly onto the crosshairs of where it is you want to drill. So I like that. That works extremely well. A little noisy, but it still works well. Now, the other thing is it's got a travel here, which is pretty good, as you can see. Now, they've got adjustments all up in here, and we can lower this and we can raise it. So what we have here now is the measurements here as to how we can set up the depth gauge. And sometimes the depth gauge is good for a couple of things. Number one, you don't want to be putting your hand way around onto here and going all the way up and around in order to do it. You may just want it to travel a short distance so you're closer to your work. So what I do is I put this down so I know exactly where it is. I've got my work beside it. I've got a line marked on it. I know how deep I want to go. And if I'm going to use this adjustment here, which brings it down you know, shorter and, and, and makes it so that this doesn't move, then we see that we've got that exactly where we want it. Now, while that works extremely well, another technique is to take your bit, put it in here, and raise the table up and down depending on how far you want to drill into the wood. So overall, this is a pretty good deal. I, I mean, it was $649 that in Canada here at uh, Lee Valley, which means in the United States, it's probably somewhere around $79 with the exchange, you see. I, I don't know what it costs in the States. I'm just joking when I say that. But anyway, we know the speed. We can adjust the speed. I've just moved it forward again. And it's now running. We'll bring it down to 500, there we go. perfect, 500, we've got our X, that's it, it's as simple as that. So it, yeah, it will do a 45 degree angle for you if you want. This thing will obviously, as you saw me earlier, it turns right out of the way. It works pretty good, I have no complaints about this. It fits on this stand very nicely. I can roll it out here when I want to use it, roll it away when I don't want to use it. So it's handy. I've got all my tools that came with it uh, taped up here on the side so that I don't lose them and I know they apply to this and this only. So that's it. That's my Rikon um, drill press and I know that I asked a number of you what I should be buying and I had a few of you who indicated get a floor model. Well. Taking this bench top, I was able to turn it into a floor model, but because I don't have the room, I'm able to very nicely accommodate this, 
push it out of the way and we're all good to go. So that's it for me. I'm going to head up, get a cup of tea. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, please. And if you've got any comments, tell me what drill press you have. By all means, indicate that down below in the comment section, and I will get back to you and respond as soon as I'm able. Again, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you in another video. It's time for me to go outside for a walk because the rain has stopped, but it's so overcast here in Ontario, it looks like it's nightfall, and it's just past midday. Anyway, that's the way it is. Bye for now.